Make this a resolution when you hear or read something about the latest and greatest example of the human failings of the church. The weak human beings that God uses in his church, pray for them. Offer a Hail Mary for them. It may just save their soul. The second thing that's very important that we learn from the life and times of St. Athanasius is the fact that the Arian heresy was spread by people debating it who had no business debating it. It was spread about by people arguing about it who had no business arguing about it. St. Jerome points out that he would hear cobblers and bakers and you know, uh, carpenters, teachers, all arguing about this Arian heresy. He says, physicians are taught by physicians, but everyone is an expert in Holy Scripture, twisting them to their own destruction, as St. Peter told us long ago. We should keep this in mind. Not that we shouldn't study the faith. Not that we shouldn't understand the teachings of the faith. But we ought to stop bantering about things we don't know what we're talking about. Canon law, patristics, who's the pope and who isn't, how to elect a pope and how not to. Have you ever been to a conclave? No, you haven't. I haven't either. Hope I never am. Stop arguing about it. That's how errors of ecclesiology are spread about hither and yon, and you might just find yourself outside the church. It's very interesting, the errors and challenges and difficulties the church has faced just continue over and over again. But because we don't know the history, we fail to learn from the errors of our brothers and sisters in Christ who have gone before us.